Now, you mentioned something interesting that I, I would love to kind of side note here um, is on unboxing. Yep. And I think that nowadays with so many people and social media and even Amazon getting into like the influencer space of showing yep. live products and different unboxings, how important do you feel like that is from a customer standpoint or maybe say it's just even an influencer standpoint on the sales and quality of an item when someone's unboxing? I mean, hit on the head, it's super important. And video content's where, it at, where it's at. I would recommend, you know, if you're not doing it, it's not uncommon for the brands we work with to just give away a bunch of product to influencers with under the caveat of like, we need unboxing videos and mm -hmm. understanding like eight out of 10 are probably not going to be usable, uh, but two out of 10 will be usable and you can use them everywhere. Uh, it To your point, it showcases the quality of the product. And like from, you know, as you're developing products, as you're considering new markets, as you're considering expanding product lines, uh, the, the customer experience is everything and understanding that they're, they're not able to go to, like to your point, you can't go to Walmart, you can't go to Target, you're not going to be able to put your hands on this. So giving the customer as much confidence up front with unboxing, with the quality experience and understanding if you're a digital only brand, you need to step it up in terms of, you know, your that experience, which is different from retail, because they know they can just go in, touch it, feel it, does it feel right, so on and so forth. So I, I would say it's paramount, and it should be part, you know, if you don't want it on your listing, storefront, uh, in your social media, anywhere that it makes sense, but you should definitely have some unboxing videos and create some really unique experiences. And I think even giving, you know, now that there's reviews where people can leave reviews now, I, I mean, we can get into reviews and I've got, of course, nightmare stories, but I also <laughs> have positive stories where one review can make or break you. But now yeah. customers are the influencers. The customer can buy yeah. from you and leave you a video review and talk about your product. And they don't know you from Adam. They they just, yeah. they bought your product and they can leave pictures and reviews and all these things. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll go back to an experience I had. I, I was looking for a dress for a specific specific event and I don't love going shopping and doing all the stuff. So I'm just like reading the reviews. Does it fit? Does it fit? Does it yep. fit? And then I started seeing people posting pictures of this is what it looks like on. It's not just some model of yep. some dress on here. And I was like, that's going to be great. And sure enough, because of the reviews and because of the pictures people posted, I'm like, this is going to be awesome. And it was, and I was exceptionally pleased with the quality and the things like that. So the more people are showing off the brands, the more people are building trust. Plus on Amazon, let's just be real. Most people go to Amazon because of the speed and the convenience yeah. and the trust that they yeah. have with Amazon. They they don't have to whip out their credit card. They know their, their credit card is going to be secure on there. They can hit a buy it now button. And they also know that there's this crazy refund policy or return yeah. policy Amazon has. It's kind of like a no questions asked. If you really don't like something, you can send it back. Now we could have a whole another episode about that and when and what needs to change in that policy, but uh, we'll, we'll save that for another day. But the reality is the trust factor is already built into the Amazon marketplace. It's the, yeah. the brands that are then vying for the attention and the trust of customers um, because the platform's already trusted. Yeah. I think you hit it on the head too. Like, uh, you know, everybody can leave a review and like something I hear common is like only disgruntled uh, e-commerce shoppers leave reviews and negative reviews. But to your point with trying on the dresses and that like having a great product and a great customer experience is equally going to compel these shoppers to take photos, share videos and leave them, you know, on on Amazon. Like we don't always pay influencers to work with us and to leave that type of content. Um, and and it's just like really happy customers that are like, check out how this looks and feels. So, you know, back to the customer experience, you know, getting that on point, it'll spill over and it'll lead to, you know, that halo, more sales and more opportunity.